Good morning. We're um, out exploring again today. This one, um, this creek is pretty high up. I bought the easy sluice. It's a bit of a hike in here. Got a bit of rain, so I knew I wouldn't need the power sluice. And let me tell you, we had ice on the car this morning. It's freezing. This water keeps turning me hand purple. I need some gloves. And of course, as soon as I got here, I filled my gumboot full of water. So I've just picked a spot between a couple of big rocks here. I actually rolled that one out of the way. And we'll just go down nice and deep, run a couple of buckets, put it through. Let's see how we go. It's a beautiful spot. I should have grabbed my waders. I wanted to see how far up this creek I could get. It gets a bit deep. And same old scourge, blackberries, blackberries. There's a um Hell of a lot of old workings up through here. You can see this is an old tailings pile just here. Heap of holes, costumes, everything all the way up through there. There's quartz laying around all over the joint. There was originally a reef. Well, I suppose there's still a reef up on this bank. So it sheds the gold down into here. Well, so hopefully we get some. I haven't used the old easy sluice for a long time. Can't go past it if you've got a hike in. You just take it nice and slow. Well, keep digging and see how we go. Uh, we've got a um, sluice going. It's a pretty good bit of kit, you know, for something just 50 bucks made out of plastic. I don't know whether you can see, but easiest way to know if it's set up right. You can see, these, see all this dancing around. Maybe put a little bit of gold just in there. I don't think you can see because of the reflection. See so it clear out nicely. And there's a riffle, 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 riffle. You can see them it's all just dancing around in there. Most of the gold gets stuck in here. Clearing out beautifully. You can take a little bit more flow than this. It doesn't help where I'm sitting, I'm sitting right in front of it. Beats panning anyway. Well, we'll keep going and run a few buckets and we'll see how we go. The um, one thing I've forgotten about, and I guess what we all love the most about gold panning is that little reveal of gold. And one thing about the easy this is every single scoop, you know, once you watch it go through. You get a little reveal. You get to watch your gold come out. This is a really good spot. Oh, let's see if we can see. There's a bit of gold. There's gold, 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 gold. And they're all pretty decent size too. There you go. See trying to go there. I love seeing it sitting there on the top. Chunky in here. I don't know how much fine stuff is getting through there, but I know we've done. Well, probably one whole bucket so far. I love that bit just there. Wasn't expecting this to go up. It's good to be so chunky here.
Better not be too good because I dare say this joint would be freezing. Literally in the winter. Might even get a bit of snow here. That one, man, that's a ripper. Is there even something in there? But I'll have it. most of it gets stuck in on that first half. Oh, looks pretty good so far. I'd say I've done just over a bucket. I've screened it right down. I think that seems an eighth of an inch. I'll just check for any pickers. You can see that's clearing out beautiful. Most of the places, you know, that you, as long as you see this, you can see this V. As long as there's a bit of a V right there. It's set up pretty nice. You can see that's clearing out beautifully. You can see the stuff packed up behind the riffles too. They probably could have made them a little bit higher. But like I said, got a $50 sluice. It's been sitting in my boot forever. Sure, it's easier. That fits in my bag, you know, just take that funnel off. And when it's a hike in like this one, it's so much easier. And, you know, it goes pretty quick. You wouldn't want to overfeed it, but it's a nice relaxing day. Running it through. Gee, there's some bottom in there. So I'm running a few more buckets. Let's have a look. You can see me holes are leaving that deep, yep. Uh, glare's a killer. This rock here I'll move. I think I can move that one too. I'll just keep following it in. Keep going. Okay, we've um, we've put through three sieve down buckets, I think. And I was thinking to myself, it's been a long time since I used this easy source. And if I had, it's funny how much better you get at getting gold. If I had this sort of gold in this sluice when I first bought it, I would have had a heart attack. Like I remember, I used to be wrapped with one or two specks in there. I'll give you watching you know my first two or three videos when I was first started out with this. Never would have done anything like that. And how you just get better what spots to pick. I think I'll do a little quick little clean out of this one and see what I've got. I wonder if I can pick this up. Oh. Yeah, we're losing everything, yep. Some gold in there. So, um, just that first riffle on the second riffle, I just pop it out. And underneath is some um, miners' moss. So I can't, I'll put, put it in a pan and I'll show you what we got. That's the um, the sluice all cleaned out. You can see here the riffles on the. I just clip in the other side. Now let's see what we got. That's how much concentrates we got. I usually double pan it, but it looks like it was pretty chunky gold.
These pans with the deep riffles are so much better. Oh, lots of black sand. Oh, tons of black sand, that's crazy. You can see a bit of colour. Plenty of little gems in there too. What I might do, well look at the gold up the top there. I might just turn this off for a tick and get rid of some of the, oh look at all that gold. I'll get rid of some of this black sand and we'll have a better look. Looks good so far. Alright, all done. The, um, I'm not used to the black sand down home, we don't get the black sand like this, this is tons but Super flaky, look how chunky that is. Not bad for what an hour's work. It's beautiful looking gold. In the old book that I found this creek in, it says that it's pretty chunky in here. Not very water warm. I've got to get a better camera so you can get the detail of these a bit better. They're beautiful. Well, that one's a good size. So I'm pretty happy with that. Put the day in here. No real chance of getting a high banker in here. It'd be pretty dedicated and pretty strong. <laughs> so just keep going with me holes. They don't seem to have any um, leeches here, but what they lack in leeches, they make up for in mozzies. They're crazy. I have to get the air guard out. So I think three screen down buckets are in. I don't know whether you can, I can't see on the view corner, it's getting a bit glary. This is my hole here. There's a big bit of bedrock sticking out, so I've just gone either side of that. Get down there. On this side there's actually an old log buried down there, so I think the gold's getting trapped between the bedrock and the log. It's getting down in between it. Should have brought some rubber gloves and water's freezing. So that, that might do it for this video. Or I might, if I do roll, I'll come back and show you the end of the day. That's a pretty good start. Till next time.